little eagles, Mrs. Hirschberger here. Today I'm going to share with you Clark the Shark Dares to Share. Here we go. Clark the Shark loved his teacher and he loved learning, but sometimes Clark got a little mixed up. One marvelous morning, Mrs. Inky Dink told Clark, Clark's class, time for show and share. Blowfish went first. He played a song so sweet and sassy that Clark couldn't help but dance his funky shark dance with a hip and a hop and a skiddly whittly wop. Sit down, please, said Mrs. Inky Dink. But I was sharing too, said Clark. Sharing is caring, said Mrs. Inky Dink, and everyone must learn to wait their turn. I get it, said Clark, but he didn't really. At Reading Roundup, Amanda Eelwiggle won a scrumptious prize for reading the most books. Sea slug ice cream, asked Clark. Yum, yum, I want some. That's up to Amanda, said Mrs. Inky Dink. But sharing is caring, cried Clark. Mrs. Inky Dink nodded. Yes, I'm aware, but the giver chooses when to share. Sharing is confusing, said Clark. In reef hockey, Clark chose to share his spectacular skills. Hockey is awesome, he roared. Clark front faked and back faked. He stick checked and decked. In the end, Clark did everything but pass the puck. His teammates were cranky. Hey, hot shot, let someone else score, why don't you? Said his best friend, Joey Mackerel. But we all shared the win, said Clark. Coach Krabby scowled. A win's not okay unless we all get to play. Sharing is complicated, said Clark. After school, Clark and Joey Mackerel played Sea Wars at Joey's house. Wow, is that dark waiter? Asked Clark. Best birthday present ever, said Joey. Wanna play with Fluke Seawalker? Clark really wanted Dark Waiter, but Joey asked him to wait his turn. Then when Joey went to get a snack, Clark couldn't resist. Must be my turn. It was, after all, the coolest toy ever. <gasps> sea Wars rocks, cried Clark. Pow, bam, crunch. <gasps> Uh-oh, oops. Clark cried, Joey, you broke it. Sorry, said Clark, I was uh, sharing. Joey shook his head, that's not sharing, he said, that's taking and breaking. Clark the shark swam home, befuddled and bewildered. He didn't understand sharing at all. And when he arrived, Clark found he wasn't the only one who didn't get it. Mom, cried Clark, my cap, he borrowed it, he bit it. And now it's ruined. Teething or no teething, Clark's mother said, that's no way to treat a cap. She told his brother to ask before borrowing, but she told Clark, you all, or you have heaps of caps. And if you have a lot, why not share a lot? But Clark didn't want to hear it. He swam to his room and sulked up a storm. Sharing is caring. Clark grumbled. It's not taking and breaking. But this only reminded him of what he'd done at Joey's house. Clark's head hurt, as if a big, sharky thought was trying to break free. So sharing is waiting your turn, letting everyone play, the giver chooses when, not taking and breaking, and giving what you've got a lot of. Huh. Sharing was confusing. But, thought Clark, it also might be worth getting right. Mom, he asked, will you help me bake something? The next day, Clark gave Joey a home-baked krill cake and a great big sharky apology. I think I'll share this with the whole class, said Joey. Really, said Clark? Really, said Joey. And when Amanda Eelwiggle saw that all the cake being cut up, she said, you know what goes well with krill cake? No what, said Clark. Sea slug ice cream. And just like that, she scooped her treat into everyone's plate. 
Clark the shark looked around at all his classmates enjoying cake and ice cream. And he got a warm, wiggly feeling way down deep inside. What is it, Clark? asked Mrs. Inky Dink. With a ginormous grin, Clark broke into the funkiest, sharkiest funk shark dance ever. And this time, all his classmates joined him with a hip and a hop and a skiddly whittly wop. Sharing is sweet, cried Clark the shark. The end. Bye for now.